What is up, fam? Hold this message. Finds you all well in good spirits. Well, well, look how things change. That's right. We just got word that Test and Tune is open locally. I'm so excited. It's going to be not Echo, but Cecil. So we were looking at a street setup, and now all of a sudden I'm going to switch back to the drag pack. We are going to stop by Casper today because, unfortunately, when I was changing the tires to the drag pack, I found some axle grease. Looks to be like we have some axle grease. I don't know if you can see that there. I don't like that. It may be axle grease, may not be, but I'd like to have uh, Mason check it out. We may not run at all, who knows? We might need new half shafts. But if we do, if we pass it okay, we're gonna go full kill mode. We're going to, you know, we have the gut the car, skinnies, all that good stuff, E85. Let's see what happens. So excited um, to run the, the Black Mamba now. She's back. Um, also, remember guys, we are officially, guys, less than a week away, five days away from what? five days away from the end and the end of that right there not the hulk but the giveaway 2020 shelby gt500 right there in all of her wrapped glory we gotta do something for the wife's car but that's another story for another day but what i do is this we're going to switch the tires up put the drag back on get a cold start and head over to casper's but also do something peculiar. If you guys don't remember, we had a bunch of boxes all around here. You remember the, our good old friend, the White Mamba? That's right, our new edge. Dude, I bought that car and everything just got super busy, but we gotta get back at it. What I have already loaded up in the car is, bam, the Mamba, Ooh, full of Steeda. Steeda suspension is here for the new edge. That build has to get going again. Got a lot of things happening, guys, a lot of things. Mamba's going back to drag ship. Gotta check it out. We have the, the end of the giveaway happening. The white mama bill's getting back on it. So, anyways, I digress. Let's get a cold start. Let's hit the Caspers and see what's going on with this wheel grease. And torque these down to 150 foot pounds. Like it's it, it's paint. It's just like paint. Just... That's uh that's adhesive they use. It's promoter. It comes right off. Buff it off. You, yeah, no, they have like the adhesive remover and then the paint's not bad. Yeah, no, the paint's not bad underneath. The black looks better with the carbon. Yeah, yeah. But Joe's gonna take the rest off because you know he has the better eye. This is what I did by hand. How'd you do it? My hand. I use a you know hair dryer. Yep, find a spot, peel it, find a spot, peel it. Todd, you want to move the car? And then... Yep, and then we could, uh, you and I can unbox and see the parts and, like, look at them while they get ready. If you wash it... it yeah, it, well, yeah it, well, it might look like it's have to be like that, yeah. Yeah, one thing, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it comes back. <laughs> I got a guy, so. Yeah, we'll unbox them and just put them all here and then we'll store them in the garage. Little, little table action. So, all right, let's start with what we got here. Like, I don't even know what's either sense, so me and Todd are... This is a little heavier, I think, actually, so... Careful getting this one out. 
they either control arms like freaking you know springs yep all types of stuff be, be rough with it poor thing's been sitting in the garage for like ever what's behind box number one Nice, heavy duty. Put a big. Ah, shock tire brace. Yeah, okay. Get that in. That's nice. Up That's gonna look, yeah, it's gonna look nice and good on the white mama there. It's light, but it's big. Awkward. Yeah, it's awkwardly big. Look at this packaging, dude. Little care package. Oh, shoot. You'll work it out. Oh, look at that. Sway bars. See that for the that'll be for the windshield. Cool. What you got here? Camera plates. Dang man, they gave us all the sauce. Packaging, nice. Yeah, it is. Oh, more camber plates. Yeah. Jeez. Beauty there. I had a chance to go to their, their uh, headquarters in Valdassa. It's They do a good job. Look at these. All welded. This could be quite the performer. Driver's side. We got some goodies. Another big mama. Something, I think. I lost count. Bushings, more sway bars, control arms. Jeez. Wow, Steeda sent all the smoke. Yeah, one more box to go, too. You know, we got knives on mamamerch.com, by the way. <laughs> Five days left, bro. Oh, dude, these are nice. I like that color too. Yeah. It's like that. Maybe we should do a Nardo gray on the. Maybe it's got a lot of accents. It's got a lot of. I think that we should do that. What do you think? I like it. I mean, Totter likes it. Um, yeah. You know what we should do? Just because for Stita, let's you and I put on a Stita banner on the hood, on the windshield today. See what's up. What do we got next? It's a heavy girl. All right. Mom was empty. Yep. I'm going with springs. Yeah. I mean, this looks like a typical springs box. Pretty heavy too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Springs. And there's Stita. Nice. Or maybe we could paint it blue. Whatever color. Yeah, blue <laughs> whatever, and gray. whatever color. Blue and gray. Yeah. Dude, this is, this is some good stuff. All right, guys, listen. I know you're going to go nuts. Well, relax. You know, you saw the 500. The 500 giveaway is over in five days, all right? We got to start with the new the new stuff. And, yes, the couch out the bag. This is the next giveaway car. Um, I'll tell you a little story, a little story time action. Um, we bought this car back first um, to start the giveaway process. And then Petroworks came and was like, Bam, here's a 500. How about that? And we were like, oh crap, let's do this. So that's what happened. The cool thing about this is, stay tuned. I'll give you all the details. First, we got to finish up the GT500 giveaway. 
but this is the next giveaway car here, the White Mamba. Thanks to Sita setting up suspension. We got more stuff coming from more of our partners for this beautiful build. So stay tuned to that. Um, but yeah, this is happening. Listen, you can't enter this giveaway yet. It's not even official official, but if you stay this long in the video, you know uh, that it's happening. So um, I just said, I said, screw it. Let's just tell them. Let's just tell them this is the next giveaway car. It's not, nothing's official yet. I don't know the dates. But this is, I was like, this is our fresh, original plan. But with the, with the other one ending in five days, we might just say, uh, hey, screw it. You see all the gear they got? Look, look at Steve the sent us. Lowering springs, jack, uh, subframe connectors, control arms. It's going to be quite the setup. Yeah. Sway bars. So, sway bars. We'll do this after the 500 giveaway ends. We're going to start with this process. And we'll start the, the modding on the new edge. But I was gonna make it a surprise, but I said, you know what? Dude, this is this is too cool. Oh yeah, this is for you, bro. They gave this to you. Is it this for Mason specifically? Are you serious? Yeah. Nice. You're. Uh, I said XL. I mean. Yeah, okay, right, cool. Gotta be cool. I, I, that's all you get. <laughs> all the work. <laughs> all the work Mason does is like, well, we see to sell you a T-shirt. Thanks, buddy. Me and uh, me and Todd are gonna put the Steeda banner on there because they sent us like, you know, just three thousand dollars worth of suspension. Again. Details coming soon. We don't know when it starts, when it ends, but I just wanted to show you guys that this was the plan upcoming. Look at good old. Now this car already has some stuff to it already. It even has a converter already. So there's some stuff here. All right. All right. That looks good. Maybe we should put it to the left a little bit. <laughs> Steed, uh, listen, we're gonna, we'll fix the sign. Don't worry about it. Black is just cleaner. Yeah, carbon fiber hood and trunk. What happened? I think you blast your name down the side of it. Blast the name on the side of it? Yeah. Oh, like it's peeling off, like go yeah. falling. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Even keep off. this, but like, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. A lot, a lot of ideas. That's, that'll do it. <laughs> a little pinhole in it, right? Here. I'll do it. I'm spitting a... Uh, yeah, you can see it over here, though. Oh. Ready? It's coming out like pus. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it's all over. It's all over here. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, where is it coming? And it's just a small hole, but under under load yeah. is when it squeezes out. What do you think? Not, you're not in danger of driving. No, no. It's just that. See, it's it's spilled over here, and yeah. all right. Todd noticed that our we got a little leak there on the diff. The vent was unhooked. Yeah. It's so. Uh, yeah, we'll it yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, all right, this is why we did the V-band. Just losing unnecessary weight all right it looks so much better without this is that is a lot of weight uh, we just got in the tent this might be the eighth this might be the 899 yeah 
Now these V-bands are custom made at Casper's, so. You know what's good though, when it goes to the ground, it actually kind of muffles the sound a little bit where it's not too obnoxious. Yeah. All right. That's all she wrote. Looks mean. Look at this big, look at this big, huge gas. Yeah, right? <laughs> they sounded the leak. Oh, I just like it open. It looks oh, cool. Yeah, right. Like, you know. Um, so I had to clean this up here at least 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> Good old axle grease. So we're, I'm going to call it DSS and try to get it. Yeah. And like you said, we'll just put some temporary. This is the second time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not, it, like I said, it's not from the install. Yeah. Because we did it, you drove it, no track use, no nothing. Yeah. And we kept checking it. And now this is the second time. I Probably thought, because I heard a lot of, I heard, a, I heard a lot of banging, and I was like, "What's going on?" So our our coilover is leaking. All right, all right. I'm gonna check all the bolts and stuff first. Though. All right, no, it makes sense because I was like, "Why is yeah. that?" Probably why the that's probably why that tire was rubbing, because the, the it's sagging a little. Yeah, bit. because the other side wasn't rubbing, and that was rubbing. So all right, so the height could be a little off. Too. Yeah, yeah, um, yep. You always gotta compensate too for when you're sitting in the car. Or if you're exactly. Yeah, yep. I mean, so when I set this up. The driver's side was an eighth inch, eighth inch to a quarter inch taller for when you sat in it, it leveled the car. Got it. That's how I always check over there. Got it. Just see the mark on it? Yeah. So just start the work. Got it, got so, it. You know what I'm saying? You're here now. So go one half turn. If you don't like that, go another half turn slow. Got it. All right, perfect. Makes life easier. All right, thanks, Mason. So, can you talk about real quick what we what you found, what you did, and then we're just gonna wrap it up. Yeah. So, uh, I was gonna change things off. The yep. Got the dumps. We saw the vent tube was off the diff. Put the vent tube back on. Clean that up. Um, the actual has a pinhole in it. Yeah. So we just cleaned it. We gotta put some Permatex on it for now. Just and I'll to I'll it. talk to DSS. Yep. Yeah, we gotta talk to them because it's not from an installation. It's not yeah. Nothing. It, it's happening from just driving a car. Um, Check the front end because you had a bagging noise in the right front. Yep. You got a leaking <coughs> coil. I think yep. The coil, the, if it's starting to lose pressure charge inside the coil, inside the shock itself, it's, it's going to get soft and it's going to ride a little rougher. Yep. Um, other than that, just look it over. Everything looks good. No fluid leak. No All problem. right. We'll make, make our sure passes. Go down the pass. All right. So just to recap, the dumps are off. Uh, I got to call DSS for a new uh, uh, passenger drive shaft, but they put the sealer on the boot for now. We have a little bit of a leak in the Steeda right coilover. We're gonna call Steeda to get another one. And we adjusted the, yep. The dampening preload in the coil. And that's it. I'm gonna run it tomorrow, see what happens. Now we're gonna get a nice startup and then back it out, see what it does. All right, let's hear the mama sounds. Dumps. That'll do. That'll do. guys know I really race them a lot and they do a great job and 
and uh, very very happy always to have them um, take care of all the builds on the channel so really appreciate them but yeah uh, stay tuned we don't know exactly when the time will be uh, we have to wait and coordinate all that stuff update the site uh, but the new edge is the next giveaway but so excited I kind of spilled the beans but wait uh, we'll wait about three weeks or so for that that world begins but that's the next stop and that'll be a very short giveaway only 30 days not like the we'll probably do 30 to 60 days going forward it was a long one for the first one because the GT500 is such an expensive car we had to, to pay off the, the car back for what it cost um, so that's why that car that was a long giveaway and it was more expensive but anywho that giveaway is still going on the 500 has five days left uh, so it's a big jump I know from uh, you're going from a GT500 to a new edge but it, you know we can have more fun with the new edge as far as modifying it and doing things to it but uh, mama's gonna eat tomorrow so stay tuned Tell me it doesn't sound, it's, it's, 